Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. So today, Virg, I pulled two cards for you, right? One for you and one for your person. <laughs> I don't know what all this like tumultuous energy has been lately in these readings here, Virg, but you know, I'm just going to keep it real with the messages. Now, the card that I pulled for you was not enough. I feel like you're frustrated in a relationship. I'm also hearing, I hate to I hate to watch you leave. I love, I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. So I feel like this is a fine ass Virgo I'm talking about. Okay. Now the thing is Virgo, I feel like you could be like, um, at odds with your person, maybe not a complete breakup or what, but we'll get into it more. But I feel like just the thought of you walking away or the thought of you pulling your energy back has this person stressed out or has them kind of jealous because I feel like part of them feels as though you in some way, Virgo. Okay. All right. Thank you. Spirit could could be sabotaging the connection because you're not quite sure about them anyway. I feel like Virg, they seem like a good idea. It seems like a good time. But as things got serious or you saw glimpses of it, you're like, nah, I think I like it here. But you also don't like the fact that this person isn't pushing this along either. OK, if that makes sense. Let me know if I'm making sense. All right. Now, the card that they pull is boat. All right. Now, this is all about closure. This is all about like having issues with closure, though. Right. Because I feel like this is a situation that hasn't quite ended here. And I feel like your person, they, they could be a bit like uh, the type of person. And I think we picked up on this in the other read the other day where it's like, you know what, if the Virgo doesn't really want me, then I'm going to try to move on. But they're having issues with doing that. OK, I also feel like Virgo, once you feel like this person is starting to move on, you could feel it. Like you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. All right. So let's see. Um, let's get your energy because you feel like at the end of the day, you know, they're not doing enough. OK, and then we're going to get your person's energy. So what is this spirit? What is this frustration that the Virgo is feeling here? All right. But one thing you're going to do, Virgo, is stress your, is dress your ass off. I was going to say stress for a second. So you might be stressed. All right. But you don't look like it, which is a beautiful thing. You sure don't. Not with this nine of cups. <laughs> OK. All right. Piscean energy. I feel like, Virg, you're just trying to focus on like your overall happiness and you're you're OK with being selfish. OK, that could be that self-sabotage energy. You wonder if you're too in your own world sometimes or you're you're not really ready to kind of give enough. But sometimes being selfish could be is the right thing. All right. Now, the first card you pull for yourself is the world card. OK, so you feel like this is a cycle that you either complete it before or needs to be completed. Now, not necessarily that you want this person out of your life, but you want this phase done. So perhaps it's in between phase, this phase of being frustrated, this phase of feeling like maybe you self-sabotage and then your person self-sabotages and then you stay and they want to go and vice versa, right? It feels like a push-pull kind of thing here. What is the world card? What is the world card here, Spirit? Thank you. Queen of Swords. Okay, so I feel like, uh, Berg, the the newness that you're trying to usher in this connection is a queen of swords right now the queen of swords is telling you straight telling you like it is i feel like you might have had issues setting boundaries with this person before or you were a bit too much in your head you wouldn't really make a decision and i feel like that was because you didn't know where you stood right because again i think this is a this is a person Berg, who might have grew on you right this is not somebody who you were flat out like oh my gosh i'm in love with them this is my person this is the type of person who over time they kind of like they kind of won you over. And I feel like that's kind of the sneakiest, that's like one of the sneakiest ways for love to creep in because you weren't expecting it. So now with this Eight of Swords, you feel the sense like you're in your head about it, right? You're stressed about it. More stressed than you're allowing your person to realize. I feel like you keep, like you really keep a brave face here, uh, Virg, but I don't feel like you're happy. All right, I also feel like you're, um, you're not really like, you don't want to reconcile just yet or, or you want this... What is this? What is the Queen of Swords? Give me some clarity here, Spirit. Okay, Six of Wands. Okay. So, okay, so Berg, yeah, I feel like, okay, you could have, you could have been a bit lenient with this person because again, in the beginning, I don't know, I feel like you weren't feeling them like that, right? But as time progressed, I feel like you, you really started to really like this person, like for real, for real. Okay, so with the Six of Wands, I feel like you're feeling much more, um, confident in the boundaries that you that you have right you feel more convicted in your standards like no this is my standards I'm the goddamn Virgo and this person must rise okay so I feel like um Virg with with this newfound confidence or this newfound boundaries this new wall you might have built up here that is permeable right like this person can break down that wall however they have to they have to still rise to a certain occasion okay and with the six of uh 
wants here. You see how you propped up on that horse? Yeah, they have a little bit of climbing to do here. So I feel like this person, they took advantage a bit of your, I'm not going to say like your lower standards, but the fact, but the fact that you relaxed your standards for this person here. Okay, and I feel like it was, it was unintentional, Ver, because you didn't think that this person was going to be nothing in the first place. All right, you might have felt like this person wasn't it. Like maybe they didn't look the way you wanted them to look. Maybe they, it was too much of a difference, maybe an age difference, maybe too much of a culture difference. Something, something was not gelling with you in the very beginning, but this person, I feel like this person spoke their way into your heart, all right? But with the Seven of Wands, I mean, so, I'm sorry, Seven of Swords, I feel like trust could be an issue here, all right? I'm also getting, you feel like you have to kind of strategize because I feel like Virgo, one thing a Virgo is not about to do is, or one thing a Virgo is going to do is save face. We're not about to be out here looking a damn fool for nobody, <laughs> okay? So I feel like if you do want to call this person back in, you're doing it in a very slick way or you're doing it in a very inconspicuous way, I should say. Like, they might not even know what hit them, okay? What is this? All right, so maybe you're posting more or maybe you're like, you know what, I'm really leaving. Okay, yeah, Virg, I feel like, okay. So what you really did do, Virg, I feel like you you put an ending to this connection as it was. We're getting a lot of cycles closing here. Okay, so I don't know if you 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 outright said, you know, I can't do this or you just told them like, you know, I'm just going to pull back a little bit or I've been busy. You've given them something here, Virg, so that way you can have some space to transform. Right. Because transformations very rarely happen while you're in it. Right. While you're playing the game, transformations don't happen. You got to go. You got to go hit that gym. You get you got to go get, get in that lab. OK. With the death card here. So I feel like you're you're feeling better about the situation because you're like, listen, I'm about to switch up on her ass. Or I'm about to switch up on his ass. And they're really going to miss me here with the five of cups. Now, the thing is, Virg, it just make sure, you know, you have the heart for this type of game you're playing for some of you guys, because I feel like. I feel like you you really miss this person. Okay, but it's like, damn, now I got to really transform. Now I really have to change things up because I, I set this boundary. I can't go back on my word. I can't go back on what I said. So, yeah, very like, it's like whatever you said, however you walked away, you got to be willing to stand on that because I feel like, Virg, you did this shit at a very inconvenient time or a very inopportune time. For, so, metaphorically speaking, you quote unquote, broke up with this person while it was hailing, thundering, snowing outside, and you walked away with your best outfit on, but with an umbrella, you had your snowsuit on. So that's a very inconvenient way to, to leave, but it's also a very like honorable way to leave because it's like, damn, it's hailing, it's snowing, it's fucking, it's fucked up outside, and a Virgo is still leaving? Like, damn, she must be serious. So I feel like that's the level of like, up, that you got to uphold, Virgo, because you already left on some real like, on some shit, like I'm done. Okay, so yeah, but now it's like, yeah, you really did it, and now you're missing this person. Okay, so you might have felt like, damn, I sabotaged the connection. I can't, I can't go back. Like you're like, I can't go back. I can't come with my tail tucked. I can't do that. All right, but with the King of Cups, I feel like your love has matured for this person here, Virg. All right, so you like, you have to just stand on what you did. Okay, like let's see, okay, but let's see what you, what's going on with your person because they're definitely having some closure issues. Okay, so what's going on with Virgo's person? How are they feeling about this world card energy or this, this cycle closing? Okay, justice. All right, bottom of the deck, seven of swords. So I feel like, Virgo, they feel as though you did the right thing for you. You put you first. I'm, I'm hearing the word respect, self-respect here. So they feel like the justice card really is a beautiful card, okay, because they feel like you put yourself first. And what's more attractive than somebody who puts their self first, right? Because, again, you cannot pour abundantly from a cup that is depleted. That just does not work. All this, I put you first and I put, fuck all of that. You have to be put first. So I feel like this energy is very attractive to this person here. What is this justice card? All right, maybe this is also the first time, um, yeah, Virg, that they see, like, you're really working it. Like, you're really... You're really standing on what you said. Maybe you didn't uh, text them back. Maybe you maybe you um, really did put space or you're acting different for those of you guys who didn't completely like detach from this person. Right. Because I'm not I'm not getting a complete detachment, but I am getting like you acting different here. Virg. Like if they text you, you may answer. Right. But you're not the same as you were. So take that as it resonates. And with the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Look at that Ten of Swords in the um, reverse here. This is not something that's over, at least in their mind here. That's why they're having closure issues. But I feel like they think like, um, especially when they're at work or when they're working, they're like, damn, Virgo really set up some boundaries. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is new for them. But they're like, wow, she really put herself first. She really, or he really, really, he really put this, this situation or it really asserted their boundaries for the first time. Maybe you never spoke to this person this way. Maybe you never told this person these things. Now your person is really sit is really uh, forced to sit with themselves and what's going on. Give me more. 
Okay, look at the five of swords. I feel like your person keeps thinking about like the last few conversations, maybe like the last two or three conversations you've had. And it keeps plaguing their mind, like literally keeps plaguing their mind. Okay, yeah, the six of pentacles. I feel like where you could have you could have talked to them. <clears throat> and here you are. Yep. Thank you, spirit, for the confirmation. You could have talked to them and told them, like, listen, I'm not doing the breadcrumbing energy. I can't do a little bit. I need a whole lot of it. All right. I need a lot of love. I need a lot of care. I need a lot of uh, affection. I need I need some real I need to see some traits from you that make me feel confident and that make me feel like I'm respecting myself by dealing with you. Other than that, I can't because it's just simply not enough. Like what this person was doing was not enough. Now, remember, Berg. Maybe this person doesn't know, but from your spread, it looks like, again, I keep getting, you weren't feeling this person like that in the beginning. So you didn't care what they was giving. It just was like, maybe it was just a fun thing. Maybe it was just about the intimacy or whatever. But over time, as your feelings grew and you saw that you as the fine ass nine of pentacles, okay, you as the Virgo didn't have the option to be with this person in a higher commitment, then you're like, oh, nah, why, why don't I have that option? Hold up. Okay, the Virgo has limitless options in terms of what they want and how they can move about in a relationship, but this person didn't give you that. And I feel like it could have been an ego thing. Yeah, because not enough also talks about ego. It's like, all right, you don't want to commit to me? Cool. But then Virgo, if they come to your door knocking it down like, oh my God, Virgo, I love you, you're going to be stressed because you don't know if you want this person for real either. All right, so just make sure your ego's in check here, Virg. All right, I do feel like you care about them, but it's giving a lot of ego from you. Okay, but give me more here, spirit. This person knows that they haven't been giving their best. They haven't been doing, you know, the most that they can. They have been non-committal, Knight of Wands energy. I feel like your, your connection with this person has been very passionate, very fun, very sexy, very lively. And I feel like that's what they love most about the connection here. And they're like, damn, the Virgo's taking all that away from me. All the things that made this connection good. Like, man. Okay, because you switched up. Maybe you stopped dealing with this person in that kind of way because they're really looking at themselves like, shit, Virgo really laid down the law here, especially with justice to come out first. Somebody's birthday is November 8th. Okay, I'm also getting June 19th. Okay. <laughs> All right, give me more in this person's energy toward the Virgo. Okay, three of swords. Yeah, okay, in the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, Virg, I feel like this person isn't, they're not... <laughs> They're not taking this shit seriously. And quite frankly, Virgo, you might not be either. OK, like I feel like that's why they're they're not completely able to move on because they're like, well, we've kind of done this, done this before. But I feel like you're you're doing a little bit differently than you've done it before. But with the three of swords, they feel like this is not something that's going to last like this. You two not talking is not going to last. Why do they feel that way? Okay, nine of wands. Yeah. If you guys gave too much to the damn connection, Berg. All right, because you're talking about in the beginning you weren't feeling this person like that or whatever, but y'all opened the hell up to each other. Nine of wands in the reverse, and maybe it happened later, the last few times or whatever, but it happened. Okay, and with the hierophant here, this is this person still thinking about higher commitment with you, and we just saw that empress energy. So that all plagues their mind here. Wow, Virgo. Okay. All right, yeah, we have, okay, give me a couple more spirit. Okay, so, yeah, okay. So, we have calling in your soulmate, right? So, I feel like this person feels like you are somebody who is very important to their life's journey, just period, okay? And we also have trust here. So, they're having faith with the situation. They're like, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to trust that this situation is going to end up in higher commitment regardless. Like, this person, they're not easily, they don't scare easily. So, I don't know what you said or what you're doing here, Virg, but they don't really give a shit, okay? Because they're like, listen, all that you're talking about sounds good, Virg, but yeah. Okay, give me more spirit. <laughs> give me more in this person's energy. Yeah, Virg, like, you can't, your exterior, like you're just, you come off so kind and, and, and just so like gentle and fragile, like, especially if you're a feminine energy or that's the way the masculine sees you. Even if you're a masculine Virgo, that's how you see this person. And it's like, Virgo's not going to do that. Like the Virgo is not going to really, uh, you know, cut me off here. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have best SEX ever. So there's that. All right. Yeah. And the mask, there's the masculine energy. So that was definitely resonating for somebody. While we have engagement, there's that engagement ring again. And we pulled the engagement card and the nonverbal I love you. I feel like um, 
The interesting thing is here, Berg, even if this did start out sexually, I feel like this person started to feel feelings of love for you before, before that, all right? So I don't know. Some of you guys maybe held off. Some of you guys didn't. But whatever the case, the love is, the love is around. Okay, so we do have all of a sudden. So I feel like something happens in this connection, okay, that this person wasn't expecting. And with wealth here, I really do feel like it's seeing your value. They're seeing that you're somebody who is obviously worthy of committing to, but they already knew that. That's not something that they just found out. I feel like, Berg, for you, that's something that you felt that you saw in them later, okay? But mind you, let's be mindful about the ego, right? Because are you feeling like this because they pulled away or because they weren't really jumping to be in a relationship with you? Okay, so just check that. But with engagement here, they're like, okay, we're still going to ascend to higher commitment regardless. And we have catfish. So it's, <laughs> so Berg, I feel like this person, they're seeing, like for some of you guys, you guys aren't putting up that good of a front, just to be honest. Like this person sees through your bullshit because it's like, you're acting like somebody that they know you're not, like you're too sweet for that. Like the Virgo is not going to do this to me. The Virgo is too soft for this type of hard shit or hard exterior that they're putting on. This person is like, yeah, I'm going to just give Virgo their time because eh, I don't know. And that may bother you, too, because it's like, damn, this person does not fucking take me seriously. But watch. I'm going to leave them single AF. <laughs> okay, bottom of the deck, we have clingy. You could be dealing with a Leo. That also came out in the Leo card, in the Leo reading. But I'm going to go into the extended here. Um, and I want to get more into this person's energy. Virg, I want to see what their next steps are toward you, as well as how they're truly feeling. But have kept that a bit hidden because they are a little bit fearful to let you know, especially with this whole closure issues thing. So... If you are interested in that, Berg, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute.